Hi everyone, this is Vinay from Abhyasu.com and today we are going to look at predecessor and successor and greatest and smallest numbers, right? Up to nine digits. We had seen some of these for smaller numbers before, but uh, today we are going to start looking at at larger numbers. So, what is a predecessor and a successor? If you look at it in nature, right, like there is definite order in terms of what things happen. For example, right, when a seed becomes a tree, right, like there is an order in which a seed grows and becomes a tree. So there are some things that precede the growth of the tree, and there are some things that succeed the planting of a seed, right. So this order is defined by what uh, what we define the terms predecessor and successor. Predecessor just means the one before. Successor just means the one after right so one step precedes another step and one step succeeds another step similarly like when we an egg becomes a butterfly uh, there is a definite order right an egg becomes a caterpillar becomes two others becomes an adult and so on so there is a definite order to things in nature and that's what we are trying to capture in these mathematical concepts as well Predecessor of a number is simply the number that comes before. So, if from a number, if you subtract minus 1, you get a predecessor. Successor of a number is the number that comes after. So, from a number, if you add 1, you get a successor. Right? So, to get predecessor of a number, just simply subtract minus 1. To get a successor, just add 1. Let's look at a few examples. Find the predecessor of 23867. Right? If you subtract 1 from this number, you will basically just get 23866. Right? So 23867 minus 1, you will just subtract 7 and 1. Right? So 7 minus 1 will be 6 and the remaining digits will be the same 23866. Find the predecessor of 100 million. If you subtract 1 from 100 million, right, you have to keep on taking borrows, right, in the subtraction. So you will have this 0 minus 1 to be 9 with a borrow taken from the prior 0, right, and that will also turn to be 9, etc., etc., until this first one becomes 0. So, do this subtraction somewhere, right? Pause the video and feel free to do the subtraction. But the predecessor of 100 million is 99,999,999 million That's the predecessor of 100 million. Now, a successor of 5 crore 8 lakh. 67,989. Here, if you add 1 to the number, this 89 will become 90, and the successor will be 5 crore 8 lakh 67,990. And the last example successor of 99,999. If you add 1 to this number, it will simply be 100,000 or 1 lakh, depending on the number system you want to write it in. In this case, like 99,999 plus 1 will be 1 lakh. So, that would be the successor because feel free to do the addition, right? Pause the video and do the addition. But 9 plus 1 will be 10, so 0 and one will be carry over and again the same thing will repeat 9 plus 1 will be 10 and 1 will get carried over until it starts appearing at this uh, place and it becomes 1 lakh just a quick reminder feel free to subscribe to this channel and ask questions in comments if you have any difficulty regarding this subject or any of the prior videos or anything else in your class and so on and also join us live 5 pm every day quick concepts 
natural numbers and whole numbers you will see these sometimes in your uh, class or uh, questions and so on natural numbers just means the numbers that start from 1 and continue till infinity we say that they are continuing till infinity which is the largest number right or like since like there is no one number that's going to be the largest it said that infinity is the largest so 1 2 3 so on 10 11 100 100 million 999 million right like 1 billion trillion etc etc all will go to till infinity so natural numbers start from 1 the key thing is they start from no, 1 whole numbers we add 0 to this particular sequence right at the beginning and that becomes whole numbers so whole numbers start from 0 so this 0 is added 0 1 2 3 and so on that's whole numbers without 0 starting from 1 it's natural numbers but then these are just some terms that you should know because they may appear some in some questions largest and smallest number smallest two digit number right would be 10 because 9 is one digit number after that comes 10 largest two digit number will be 99 because after 99 will come 100 then smallest three digit number will be 100 because before that there is no smaller three digit number then largest three digit number will be 999 because after that it will be the smallest four digit number that's 1000 and so on like if you see the pattern over here right if you see the pattern the smallest two digit three digit four digit number is always one followed by zeros of those uh, such that like the total number is that many digits and the largest two digit three digit four digit number is nines repeated right so that that becomes the uh, largest number with those many digits so if we just look at this pattern we can create a table of uh, calculation till nine digits so the table is something like this right so the smallest number of two digits as we said 10 three digits is 100 four digits 1000 and so on till nine digits with one followed by eight zeros and the largest number of that particular digit like 2 is 99 3 is 999 till 9 is nine nines right so that's the largest uh, nine digit number so successor of the largest two digit number is the smallest three digit number because like if you add to the largest two digit number that's 99 if you add one to that number you get its successor which is 100 which is the smallest three digit number and similarly predecessor of 100 is 99 right so the predecessor of smallest three digit number is the largest two digit number like this is a property worth remembering right uh, and this extends till like any number of digits right so the successor of largest eight digit number that's nine eight times is the smallest nine digit number which is 100 million and the predecessor of smallest nine digit number that is 100 million is the largest eight digit number which is 99 million 999,999. Let's see some examples. Okay. Find the largest 5 digit number using the digits 34921 only once. So, the way we can do it is we arrange these numbers from largest to smallest, that is, descending order, and use the digit only once. So the number so arranged will be 9, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right? So that will be the descending order. And that's the answer. Because that would be the largest number that you can form from these digits. The numbers in the descending order. So 94,321 is the answer in this case. Find the smallest five digit number using the digits. 67081 only once. Now we have 0 over here. Now, since we want to find smallest 5 digit number, let's first arrange this in the ascending order and we want to use each digit only once. So, we first arrange them in the ascending order and the ascending order is 01678. Okay. Now, 
zero is the leftmost digit in this number. The issue is that like because of the zero being the leftmost digit, this actually becomes a four digit number while we want the five digit number. So we simply exchange zero with the next number it is. So instead of zero one, we'll make this one zero and that will be the smallest five digit number. So after exchanging zero and one, the answer is one zero six seven eight. So the answer in this case, the five digit number smallest using the digits 67081 only once is 10,678. Again, quick reminder, uh, join us again tomorrow. Uh, we are here 5 p.m. Monday to Friday every day. And ask any questions in the comments and subscribe to the channel. Quick homework over here. Write the predecessor and successor of the numbers given below. And there are a few additional questions around what we learned today. So feel free to pause the video, take this down, do it, uh, share.